How's it going guys? This is the Lonator and welcome back to our Pokemon Flora Sky Nuzlocke. This is episode 6 and in the last episode we actually came here to Plate Pick City and uh, well that was a couple episodes back. In last episode we actually took on Ma Team Magma and had some had some storyline to get through. And as well as we were trying to look for Caitlyn, went over to Water Cave and got an encounter. Unfortunately Caitlyn is not over there so we I know where she is now. We're gonna go find her and it was such an obvious thing. I, sh I should have looked everywhere. I didn't look everywhere in this goddamn city, and I should have, because I missed the place. So forgive me. But in today's episode, we're going to be finding Caitlyn and finally taking on her gym to get our to get our third. Let me check to get our third. Our second. Wow, we've only we're only six episodes. We're six episodes in. And we only have two badges. We gotta get moving. Anyways, if you guys are excited for today's episode, definitely hit the hell of that like button for me because it's always appreciated. And, don't forget to subscribe as well so you guys don't miss out on any content. Hit that subscribe button and also click the bell so you hit the notification bell so you guys know exactly when my videos are coming out. Just so you guys can actually keep to date on these beautiful videos that I'm taking out for you. So, let's get a quick team recap so that we know exactly who we have here. We have Max the Herdier, who is Lax Nature, Q Charm, with Crunch, Rollout, Takedown, and Rock Smash. We have Hurt, we have, not Hurtier, we have Generator, or Luxio, who is Quirky Intimidate, with Spark and Tackle. We really need a moveset on this guy. He only has two moves, and we're going to a second gym battle. We need him, another moveset, so we need to get him all up. We have Betty the Stravia, who is easily my favorite member, who is Hasty Nature with Intimidate, who is Rock and Tackle, Double Team, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack. And we have our newest member from last episode, who is Lochness the Gyarados, who is Brave Nature with Intimidate as well. We have three Intimidate users, this is Intimidate.deck, and we have Bite, Tackle, and Splash on him. And then we need a uh, water move on him as well. I really hope we can, because Gyarados is very, very powerful, and I would love to take advantage of all the uh, beautiful moves that he can learn. So here is where we were supposed to go in last episode, which, what the hell was I thinking? How did I not look everywhere? I should have just broke down and looked everywhere, because seriously, like this is the, this is the direction, direction we're not supposed to be going, but this is the route we're supposed to be going on. I want to have a dream mail. Do you have one? You liar, you don't have it? Okay, so I guess next time I have a dream mail, we'll have to slide over to that person's direction. You notice that, guys? Look at that. These two hills have different patterns. Oh, there we go. Now they're the same, but now they're going to change again. No? That was weird. Okay, so we have to... Okay, I guess we don't need the bike. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just ate my words. Yes, we do. So she is... I was looking at a walkthrough on YouTube, and when I saw where I had to go, I was so pissed off at myself because I didn't look at every single route. <laughs> I was so stupid in last episode. I was just running all over the place waiting for something to happen. So here she is. Here's Caitlyn. So <sighs> I just don't know what voice to give her. She sounds like a she sounds like one of those lovely flower ladies. But I think I already gave that to. Her. Wait, we just learned this. Let's play. Let's do it. Oh, hi. I'm Play Picks Gym Leader Caitlin. So, you want to battle me? Is that what you want, huh? Is that what you want? Is that what you want, huh? Okay, I'm just kidding. That house is very mysterious. I don't know what's inside. Um, I'll go back to my gym. See you later. Yeah, I don't know what's in here either. So, we don't have cuts, so we can't find out. So now, we can actually take on Caitlin, which I was actually wanting to do in last episode, but we got we got Haylade. And now when we come over here after the gym battle, we can get our Route F encounter, which is funny how they put the routes in, in letters instead of numbers. I'm very, it's a very unique thing about this game is that they have the route, um, I forget who made this game. I, uh, when you go to download the game, it tells you who the creator is, and I have to, I have to tweet at him at some point because he made a very nice ROM hack. So, here we go. Leader Caitlyn came back. You can get the second gym badge right now. Well, that's what we're gonna. That's what we plan to do in today's episode. So, who are gonna we gonna lead? I think I'm gonna get Max up to level 25. I think that's our main goal. Okay, attacking first, which is kind of scary because I have a feeling that this is gonna be a very fast gym with a very good typing, and it's a normal type gym. Okay. We have a normal type as well in max, and we want to crush everything in our path. Is gonna do X speed? Yeah. I had a feeling. Minchino is meant to be fast anyway. 
Wow. Yeah, I always I always forget that Minchino is not that bulky. I always forget that Minchino is very very frail. With the rock with the rock smash defense drop, are you really living this? Are you living it? Nah, it's Minchino. Come on, you can't be serious. Of course, of course he doesn't live it. Last Mary, you were a cut above me. Oh man, that's too funny. You were a cut above me. You trimmed right through my dress. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Oh really? I would assume it would be. Not bad sprites. What a cute little what a cute little sprite you made there. All right, so spin to level 18. How much? How do you take a Rock Smash? You don't take it very well. You take it almost as bad as Minchino took it. And spin to sings is to sleep. You fuck. You piece of shit. As she goes for the po Whoa! Did you see that confused ray animation? Mind blown. Holy shit. That was magnificent. Max, you're really gonna do this right now? Ah. <sighs> I just went upstairs too to pet my dog too, and now he's doing this. I'm not too impressed. You're not impressing me too much, Max. Thank you. You the real MVP, my boy. You the real MVP, my boy. Don't go for Sing, please. Oh, jeez. And yet, when I wake him up, when I wake him up with medication, he's gonna go for confused teeter dance. Dizzy punch. Are you gonna confuse me with dizzy punch? No, nope, and I'm gonna activate my Q charm. No. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. You know what? Actually, Q Charm could actually come in handy. I'm actually not object. I don't object the fact of him having Q Charm anymore. I'm actually, it's actually grown on me. Because if a uh, if a nice lady a nice lady Pokemon wants to come on uh, throw her throw her waste in my direction, I can say, hold up. You're in love with me now, so you have to stay. You have to stay. Uh, you have to stop attacking me, so. It could come in handy, to be honest. Did you say last Randy? <laughs> last Randy. Uh, what a great girl's name. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go. I kept, I, I'm tempted to go after the Stravia, because the Stravia is probably the most, most powerful mod that this team has. Because, uh, if I know from experience, with Stravia being my favorite bird, uh, one of my favorite bird types, in the, my favorite flying types in the gym, in the game, I keep on calling it bird type, I'm not sure why. But apparently, in this gym, you have to turn these switches on, which I never thought you would have to do in a Pokemon game, is turn switches on. But Flora Sky is different, so this is kind of a nice thing to have. So let's turn this switch on. What does that do? It doesn't open shit. So, let's see. Let's do number three. Let's do lucky number three. Now, what happens? The door does not open! Jesus Christ. Let's turn this off. Okay. Oh! Would you look at that! Nice and silver lining. Alright, let's go. So we have potions, which I don't trust too much. Because they're only 20 HP uh, gain. Do we have any super potions? Oh, we do! Look at that shit! Okay, so we're actually very... We're actually in a good spot. So save your game before anything monstrous or amazing goes down like a freaking gym battle this is probably the cornerstone of this episode so if you, i hope you guys are enjoying this let's play as much as i am enjoying it i love this rom hack so far it is so much fun and this layout is freaking lit as shit i love it shaman sky thank you thank you and shout out to agent v as well who is the layout creator she is amazing she has a lot of layout layouts so if you want to hit her up go ahead She's cool. Hello. 
I had a feeling that you would come. Sorry, my microphone's shitty, that's why I'm pulling it up a little bit. I would never refuse to a challenge from you. You do understand that, don't you? Now, let's battle. Okay. Let's battle. Let me kick your freaking ass. Let me kick your ass. Let me kick your ass. Alright, well, who are you gonna send up first? Lilypop. Level 19. So we are just on par for this gym. Wow. I'm gonna assume that Rock Smash is the correct play because it is super effective. And it lowers defense. So if she wants to go for a healing item, it'll do more damage until he finally dies. What are you gonna go faint attack? You think that's gonna do much? I intimidated you. You're pathetic. I might just go into every intimidate user, just to freaking just to crutch her for the entire match. So we have one more level until we switch. Max out of here. But at the same time, Del Caddy, I kinda wanna intimidate this bitch. Not gonna lie. So let's go, let's go into Betty. I know she doesn't take physical hits too well because of her hasty nature. But it might be her hastiness that might. Hello? Wow. Okay, did not expect the shiny. <laughs> I did not expect that. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Just to be a minus two attack so her physical, normal type attacks can't do much damage, I'm gonna go out and max an Intimidator again. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. I'm such a stupid idiot. Heard here has Q Charm. It's, it's Gyarados and Spark that I have it. Spark, what am I coming up with new nicknames now? Freaking, uh, what's his name? Luxio. Generator. So it's Generator and Loch Ness that have uh, Intimidate. We've been getting defense drops every single Rock Smash we've used. That's a pretty record breaking thing. Immobilized by love. 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 Let's go. Hurtier. Let's do it. Mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna stop. I have to stop dancing. Because I'm so happy and he has a chancy. She is incredibly frail. I bet you anything, she will not live this takedown from her to her. Mm. Oh, she lived. She has a ton of HP. This thing is bulky. Oh, she has a citrus berry. Well, how cute. So you're gonna heal Chansey. I'm gonna lower your defense. Right. Never fails. Never fails. You're gonna keep on heal spamming. Until your defense is so goddamn low that you're gonna die anyway. I don't know what to tell you. We sweep the hell out of this gym. Alright. So that is our second gym bag. That was incredibly fast. Normal types are not that strong when it comes to uh, when it comes to stage. Well, actually, so our first mom was a stage one, uh, no, a basic, and then her second Pokemon was a stage two, and then her third was a stage one. Because technically, Blissey is the final evolution of the Chansey evolution line, but she had a Chansey, so. Alright. The normal badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without question. And you'll be able to use the Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this technical machine too. Did you just say use the, the Flash outside of battle? Like, are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> that TM45 contains a tract. It makes the opposite gender less likely to attack. Alright. Alright. So we are, we're not, we're not that far into the recording. So we can actually go and get an encounter. And also just progress, because honestly, we have a big, we, have, we kind of have a, a bigger and better episode ahead of us. So let's go. So that was, uh, a little too easy. Herdier just kind of swept after the Intimidate drops. So I did also find out in the walkthrough, before he went, before this person went over to the, to the east to go find Caitlyn, I saw that he went over here and he got an encounter inside a little house which I didn't know this place existed until now we can go inside here this is a ghost house and if you know if you know that ghost types are very good against other typings you'll know that that smells great that smells great so let's try and get a ghost type in here 
Is it just gonna be basic like ghastly or something like that? Wow. That's not what I was expecting. So we get a haunter. Haunt, 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 haunt. Okay. Wow. That's kinda crazy. I don't know if I can hurt this thing, to be honest. I don't know if I can. Oh. Oh god. Unless he has curse. Unless he has curse and inflicts damage on himself. Skill swap. Does that mean I levitate now? Well, I can't hurt this thing. If I bite it, it's gonna die. So, you know what? I'm not even gonna attack this thing. I'm just gonna keep on putting turns up and just see if he stays in. No? Well... You're making this really hard, Haunter. You're making this really difficult. Can you stay in the ball, please? Can you stay in the Pokeball? Jesus Christ. Three rolls and he still breaks out. Come on! Why can't I have hypnosis? Why can't I have a status move? Jesus! That was my only chance. Haunter, I cannot touch you. Haunter, I cannot touch you. You're gonna die if I attack you. Alright, we only have six Pokeballs left. You forced my hand. Mm, I don't want to do this, though. Well, I don't know. Luxio's special attack isn't that high. I can go for a spark. Was this in Haunter specially defensive? I think. I just wish we had Thunder Wave. It's gonna be able to s slow this thing down. So if Haunter dies, it's not my fault. Don't get pissed off at me if it dies, because he's just being an absolute dick right now. Wow. He lived on 2 HP. Holy shit. He still breaks out. He's in the red, and he's still breaking out. Jesus Christ, you just wasted $2,000, dude. Oh, my God. Well, obviously we know what to... Well, it's a female. Now, I was going to do it, but no. It just doesn't fit his, uh, his style. It doesn't fit his style, so I'm going to name it Lady Boo. That's fine. So, what else could we have found in here? just ghastly? Is it just ghastly and haunter? I'm guessing it is, yeah. Nothing too exciting in there, so. So we're just gonna fill up this, uh, last bit of the episode, getting trainers done, and, uh, getting a few more encounters on the way. So what nature are you, haunter? I'm curious. You're mild. Mmm. I think that's Ray's special attack, but lower physical defense. Which, in retrospect, that's not a terrible nature, because his physical defense is probably not as focused on. It's probably his worst stat, other than his physical attack, but I don't freaking know. So he has Hypnosis, Lick, Skill Swap, and Spite. Alright, like, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be using Lady Boo right now, because it is a, uh, it has Levitate, right? Yeah, it does, so it does counter... It does counter ground types with uh, Lucio, but mm. it's just not the Pokemon I want on the team right now. Because we already have Herdier and Lucio for like different typings, other than the elemental star, uh, elemental typings, and I need a Grass type. Looking at this team, I need a Grass type because freaking uh, Grass and Water types are gonna body this team. Well, not really. Gyarados and Lucio should be able to hold their own, right? So I guess that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wait. 
We need to go get Pokeballs because Haunter was being an absolute fucktard and wasting all of our Pokeballs. Trust me. When I if I if my stuff gets monetized in like a year or so, <laughs> ten thousand little videos. That's crazy. But um, what's it called? If uh, eh, don't don't worry about the PP up. I'll, I'll be sure I'll find more as this game progresses. Um, yeah. What I was saying is uh, if uh, holy crap! I just had the hugest brain fart. So I'm not getting rid of Flash. I am getting rid of Attract though because it's a worthless TM and I don't like it. All right, so we have some great balls. So we have more of a chance to catch Pokemon, like with a higher catch rate. So, man, I always wear my sweater at the beginning of the episode, but then as the episode progresses, I just get way too hot to keep it on. I like this sweater. Wait, is this my phone? Yep. Do 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 do. All right, let's uh get the old sweater off because it is a bit hot down here so so let's get a route F encounter I take it you're a traveler how's that how's this well you take a old family series of battles okay so they added this in here too but I want to get my route F encounter gym leader Martin he didn't say anything why did you say anything? Is that Roar? Did you just give me the most worthless TM ever? Really? Is that Headbutt? Wow. That's pretty nice. I kind of want to give it to uh, Stravia. Because it only has tackle and it's not very reliable. But Herdier has takedown, which does recoil damage, and I don't want that either. I want to actually do heavy damage but not take recoil. So I might give it to Herdier for stab and a reliable move that does good damage without without killing myself basically. It's just Stravia doesn't have any moves that are like powerful other than the wing attack. Because like if you think about tackle, yeah, see, tackle. Well, it's 100% accuracy. I can't really give it too much. I can't really discredit the move in this version because in later gens it goes from 35 attack and 95 accuracy to 50 power and 100 accuracy, which is very nice buff for tackle because it's a very underrated move first time around. I don't know. I think. I think. I think. Nah, we'll get rid of tackle. Yeah, we'll we'll give it to Stravia. That's fine. We also got to give one of our Pokemon Flash. It is a TM, so... Oh yeah, max reach level, level 25. I didn't realize that until now. So let's put Betty out front. And you know me. I like to separate my, t my moves by freaking letters. So they're in order. Perfect. So let's go to get our encounter right here. Who is our encounter going to be? That's actually very good. Medicam in the building. Holy shit. We got Lord Jeepus here. Not bad, Mr. P Mr. Uh... Rock. Let's see. So it's bite neutral. Bite's neutral and it's special. Oh god, no. So I'll keep splashing. Oh my god, that was such crazy damage. That was craziness. Holy crap, that was craziness. Let me get rid of these text messages, because I am not about getting texts. Nice and one great ball. I love the easiness of that Meditite. Thank you so much for staying in the ball. Thank you. It continually meditates for hours every day. As a result of rigorous and dedicated yoga training, it has tempered its spiritual so much it can fly. Well, I think we know what to name this thing. Chris. As in Chris Angel. So we have Chris Angel, the Meditite. And it's a hardy nature. That's beautiful. 
So it has Bide, Meditate, Meditate, Meditate's the Pokemon, and Confusion. So I should have gave, uh... So we have a Meditate on the team. That's very awesome. That's a Fighting type and a Psychic type. I might just... No, 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 no. We won't box anybody. Because I feel like every time I get a new Pokemon that isn't Fire or Grass, I have to box them instantly. That's my... That's one part of OCD I will say about a Pokemon game, is that every time I have a full team, I have to have a fire type, water type, and grass type. I have to have three elemental typings all the time. But that's necessar That's not necessarily true. But that's okay. I'll, I'll grind up uh, I'll grind up Metatype for the next episode, because I want to use him. I'm going to add him to the party. So, I'm going to add Chris to the party. Mr. Angel. I should just name him Angel, instead of Chris. I think I already named my Growlithe Chris after my brother. So. so let's take on these series of battles. I think I'll, for right now, I'll just switch train them. Because there's one thing that I'm really scared of whenever I go into a battle. Is that every time I go into a battle, I always, I'm always afraid that there's going to be that one freaking Pokemon that's going to be like... I'm always afraid there's going to be that one Pokemon that has like Arena Trap or something that's going to like keep my Pokemon in the battle. Oh god. Doesn't Murkrow get Pursuit? Oh, we may have just lost Metatype before we could even... Oh god. Oh god. Murkrow gets Pursuit. Oh god. My frickin'... My, my temperature on my head just went like 50, 50 degrees up. Oh god. Murkrow gets Pursuit, doesn't he? Oh god. Oh god. I'm not gonna take off the layout just to look at a little bit of information that I could look on my phone. Oh god, I'm not a fan of this thing at all. I'll check these text messages later. Leave me alone. So technically this is like 4th gen, isn't it? Technically it's 4th gen, isn't it? Shit. At level 16, he gets Wing Attack, Haze, Pursuit, and Astonish. Oh god, he has Pursuit! No! We just got Metatite! Why do I have to do this? Mm. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Let me use him, please. Let's use Pursuit. What am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Why wouldn't you use Pursuit? It's right in your moveset, and it stops people from switching out at low levels. Why wouldn't you use it? Oh my god. <laughs> it went for wing attack. Okay, holy shit. Oh my god. That's one thing that really scares me too. Pursuit trappers. I hate them so much. So I guess we can't switch out into a... Uh... So I guess we can't really switch out into a... Uh... Gyarados either because this is an electric type. Oh, that was scary. I would stay in, but I'm not doing it against a Meryl. It's just not smart. Do we have paralyzed heals? Yes, we do. I'm sick of being paralyzed. Tranquil. Uh, Tranquil has nothing that can stop me from switching out, so. Oh, detect. Not that I'm ever gonna use it. See, I would stay in against a, I would stay in against the Skorupi, but at the same time, he is still a bug, bug dark type. He's a bug poison as a Skorupi, but as he gets into Drapion, he does have bite and stuff like that. So I don't want to chance that. Oh my God, you have these Pokemon at such freaking low levels, and you just keep on sending them, giving them potions. But she's detect. Use the attack just to fuck with him. Oh my god. Let's go to Gyarados. Let's lower his attack. That does nothing. Only downside about Metatite is that it it doesn't evolve until like what's it called? It doesn't evolve until like 
I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Like, level 37? I think he evolves into Dometicam? Like, I think that's so long for a... For such a small Pokemon with low stats. Like, I wish Meditate could at least evolve freaking closer. Like, 25 or something, like a bite. <sighs> 30 levels with a Meditate is a bit too much. Alright, so... The mountain, it has a secret entrance, but I see no entrance. Um... Oh, wait a minute, we can go south now. I'm a dumbass. We can actually go south now. We can go south because we have Flash. Shash. Oh, we can go flat. We can use Flash now. So let's go there. Let's heal first. Because I feel like from that battle, we took a little too much damage. So who wants to learn Flash? Only Generator. So let's give it to him. Yeah. Route H. So that means we can get a new encounter. Sweet. I like it. I like me some new encounters. Oh, no, we can't. Dark Cave. Okay. So, Dark Cave. So that means we can get a new Pokemon here. Wow. Is this a trainer? It is. Okay. From out of the ashes, I leap. Okay. So you're Ninja Boy Leo. You have a coughing. Let me go for Detect. I, I want to go for Confusion on this thing because it's a Poison type, but I know it can explode. I know it can have Self-Destruct. Actually, let me check that as well. Let me check that as well. Okay, Google. Coughing Gen 4. Let's check that out. Let's check out Coughing's Gen 4 moveset, because I'm pretty sure this game is rec is Gen 4, because there's Gen 4 mons in it. I haven't seen a single Gen 5 mon yet. It gets self-destruct at level 19, so he actually doesn't have it. He has Assurance, Smokescreen, Smog, and Tackle. So Assurance might do crazy damage, because I am... It is neutral, but I'll try Confusion. Let's see what if Meditate can come through. Okay, decent damage. Is Assurance going to do lots of damage? He has Poison Gas. Hmm. Interesting choice. Please don't hurt me. Pause this and look at his moveset. Look at his. Look at what. If you see that, tell me when you learn self destruct and then come back to me. Because from what I'm looking on here, he learns self destruct in Gen 4 at level 19. Look what level he is. He's two levels off. So, from my knowledge, I just checked Gen 3. He learned self destruct level 17 in Gen 3. Well, that's very disappointing. You have three. Wait, you have three coughings, don't you? Oh god. We can take a hit better. Gyarados. Let's intimidate with him with Gyarados. Intimidate him, and let's intimidate. 
activated by Gamma Gearness. So when he goes for self destruct, no, he goes for poison gas. You're not poisoning me. Get that fucking dream out of your head. Dumbass. We intimidated him. Okay. So we intimidated the coughing specifically so that he wouldn't do as much damage. Okay, so mission accomplished on the trainer, but we lost Meditite. We lost... We lost... We lost our little Meditator. Well, we can get a new encounter in here, so might as well, right? It's usually any time I try and add a new member to the team, they always end up dying. Oh, sorry, I had to burp. Sorry. Burp. Literally every single time I try and add a new member to the party, it always dies. And then our first encounter is a puny Geodude, which I do not like. I do not like getting Geodudes, because they suck. They're the most frail piece of shit on the planet. It's not even- it's not even a male, so I can't even name it Dwayne. God damn it. <sighs> I'll just name it Arms. Because I really don't have anything else to give it. And I really don't care about it, you, dude. So I'll name it Arms. Why do you have to frickin' shit on me all the time, game? Like, we've been doing well, don't get me wrong. It's just that I wanted to use Meditite. What nature are you? Rash? Garbage. Garbage! So we've lost two Pokemon in this Let's Play, one being our goddamn starter. <laughs> like, I like Pokemon, but this game is, like, sometimes it can be very unforgiving. Like, really. You can have something really, really great, and then all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, it just disappears. And you don't get to use it ever. Uh, why does this always happen to me, guys? Why me? Oh my god. Let's push along. Let's stop complaining like a frickin' three-year-old. Let's stop complaining. Go away, you, dude. We don't want you. Here's Route H. So we can get a new encounter here too. Hopefully. Yes we can. Okay, let's get a new encounter here. Let's replace Meditite for the five seconds of fame it had. Cottony? You know what? That's not bad. Cottony is actually a fifth gen mon. I I'm not even sure. Like I guess this is third gen mechanics with more Pokemon. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure I knew that all along, but I was too pissed off at Meditite's death to freaking care. Oh man. I guess we'll do we'll do a couple things with uh Well, Spark is resistant, so let's do Spark. There we go. So I guess I'll add Cottony to the team and then he'll get self destructed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really freaking annoyed by that stupid move. Every time we have something great in the party, it always has to find some way to smack it right down to the ground. <sighs> Cotton ball. So you're... So it evolves into Whimsicott. Hmm? 
-hmm. Let's name it Creamsicle. Okay, so what nature are you, Cotney? You're a brave nature, which I'm pretty sure is the worst nature you could ever give it. <laughs> Today's episode is just not lucky for me. I guess we have to keep chugging along. It does stab grass moves, but I just, I really don't like that. Well, guess what, bitch, I do. <laughs> I have a bike. All right, so let's go. But we'll go through a little bit of a uh, dark cave before we start doing other stuff. Did I get repels? Because I'm really sick of encountering Pokemon. I'm just trying to get through this place. No, he didn't. Ugh. You know what? We got a we got our first encounter in Route Route H, and in Dark Cave. So you know what? I'm gonna wrap it up here. And then in the next episode, we'll continue along. We'll go towards the uh, hopefully get to the next city. I'm gonna grind everybody up to level 25, and I'm also gonna get creams to go up to level 25 too. So, I guess uh, I'll add it to the team. Is it fairy type or is it just grass? It's just grass. Okay, that's fine. Grass types, uh, gra fairy types are six gen anyways. So I guess I'll wrap up the episode here, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to give props to the five minute, five seconds of fame Benet had. Make sure you hit the head of that like button for me because it's always appreciated. And uh, make sure you subscribe as well so you guys don't miss out on any content as well. And uh, hit the notification bell at the, beside the subscribe button as well so you guys can actually know when my uploads go up. And so you guys can check out an episode, fresh episode of Floor Sky every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been The Lonator. Take care, guys, and thank you so much.